Joanne Palmisano designs home interiors, but they're not your average rooms. She uses salvaged items, oh, look at these. vintage pieces, look at the detail. all kinds of old stuff, and she transforms them into one-of-a-kind designs. This cluttered sun porch could be an enjoyable room, but it's narrow and hard to furnish. So Joanne has a plan to transform the dead space into a peaceful reading nook by adding a built-in bench made of salvage materials. So she headed to the architectural salvage shop to look for lumber. There are infinite websites and forums online where you can find recycled construction materials. You can also do a search for nearby salvage shops like this one. After browsing their selection of lumber, Joanne found wide, thick floorboards from a deconstructed 1930s grist mill to repurpose as the seat of the bench and the 2x6 floor joists from the same building to use as the supports. She also found some beautiful old trim from a Victorian sideboard that she can use to face the bench and hide the scrap lumber. To make sure it will be structurally sound, she asked a carpenter to help her build it. I bought a ton of dimensional lumber at the Rebuild Center. I bought two by fours, I bought pieces of trim and some floorboards. First, the salvage lumber she found is cut into custom two by two braces in order to build the frame. Then they are attached to the wall using a strong wood adhesive and secured using a nail gun. Some of the frame had to be modified to fit around things like a power outlet and baseboards. Next, for the middle diagonal brace, a 2x4 is cut on an angle at both ends so that it sits flush against the back of the front brace and the wall. Then, a horizontal cross support is added in the middle of the frame beside the diagonal support to prevent the bench from sagging or bowing. Once everything's in place, it's important to go back over the frame with a power drill and screw the structure together with 3-inch wood screws to make sure it's truly load-bearing. A metal bracket is fastened between the center support and the wall brace so that the bench won't pull away from the wall when weight is added. Next, scrap pieces of the salvage Victorian trim are cut and shaped to make a footing on either side of the front supports for the decorative facing to rest on. Wood adhesive holds the footings in place and they're secured with brad. Now, the decorative wood can be cut to size using a 45 degree angle miter cut where the pieces of trim will meet at the top two corners of the frame. Then, the trim is cleaned with a file and a brush. A coat of linseed oil is applied to seal and protect the wood and give it a glossy finish. Once the oil is dry, the trim is attached to the frame using wood adhesive and strengthened with a few brads. For the bench seat itself, the recycled floorboards Joanne found are cut to the length and width of the frame. It helps to scrape down the edges of each board on the pavement. This removes any old gunk and creates a bevel that would otherwise require a sander. Some notches are cut to custom fit the boards around the trim in the corner. Once they fit perfectly, they can be painted and screwed into place. This room is long and narrow, so I built in a bench to use as a reading nook so the family can come in the morning and have their coffee or curl up and read a book. Now this narrow, once cluttered space is a cozy retreat.